Welcome to my channel, Watch Sixto. This is Sixto. Today's video is on my Fossil FS 4336. Let's see. Nope. It's FS 4736. I said 46, but it's 47. As you can see, it's a solid, solid stainless steel case and bracelet with a quick deployment stamped bracelet or as the stamp clasp with the three total of three micro uh, micro adjusters with the what do you call it the push push pins you can push them either either way because there's multiple arrows pointing upwards and downwards so you could push them either way if you have the right tools you can like uh, like if you have whoop, flying objects if you have this little guy this could work or if you have a different kind of a different kind of push pin you could do it this way and there's another way you could do it. You can grab one of these little guys as well. Now I'll do the job. So it's a chronograph movement, as you can see. As you can see from the pushers, your start button and your stop. So you got your minute hand right here the, at the six o'clock position. This is your running second going around in circles. Let me get something to show. So this is a mineral mineral glass or a mineral mineral crystal. You can see some maybe see some blemishes on there from the use. So you start here, you got your running seconds at the six, you got your minute at the nine and of course you got your dreaded 24 hour at the three at least there's no date on this one i wish they would have gotten rid of this one made this one into the minute your hour and your running second but we all can be watch experts and on my wrist is you probably seen this little guy well this guy would be is released on a tuesday my Casio Edifice EF-106. Look how that blue dances with the light. Uh, I like the fossil because it's actually pretty cool how it kind of taped or got that curve. And speaking of curve, let's see what the dimensions are. My handy dandy caliper. So this is going to be kind of fun so I'm gonna go from above the the first pusher the start pusher until like what between the six and or between the seven and eight most likely eight we're looking at between 43 43 cents how I'm gonna go from from the outer lugs where there's a space at a 51 the crown probably small like a six 6.2 uh, thickness you can see that little dome sticking up thickness we're looking at a pretty much a 12 and the lug since you could change the lugs 22 the lug width is 22 millimeters and give you a wrist shot then I'll I'll do what I uh, what I try to do is show you what the movement is it's a quartz movement right now off the top of the head I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is so we'll find out together here it is on my seven and three quarter inch wrist let's see
need my little holder. Hopefully it holds it. And for this video, give you a quick demonstration on how hopefully this works. Let's go a little bit further down. Oh, come on, work with me, kid. It's never fun to change bracelets when uh, you're filming. Really? After the 80th try, pull that guy out. This guy opens up, or partially opens up. Hopefully, just secure it. Then, nope, wrong way. Now we gotta tighten it to keep it in place. Hopefully it works. Oh, just slither it off. Now we got rotation. And hopefully it's not like the battery like, <laughs> like this one was. That was crazy. open now and there we go let's see what movement we're playing with today and it's a Japanese movement could it be a Miyota See what's hiding behind the plastic. The plastic ring. Oh, stay in place. Don't need a lot of things flying out. Because if it says Japanese, I might think it's a Miyota. Yep, it's a Miyota movement. Miyota, Miyota movement. It's a chronograph. Alright, I'm gonna pause this video. And then you're gonna see. And here it is. Fully function. And at the six o'clock position, you're the the minute hand decided to or the chronograph minute hand decided not to stop work or get misaligned. So watch this. So when you start it, then you reset it. It doesn't go back into position. So with this guy, you pull the crown all the way out. Then you hit the start position. Make sure you line it up and see if it works. Boom. Just like that. Let me wipe this guy off. The only loom on here that I've seen are the minute and hour hands, not 
not the uh, Roman numeral. That would be nice if it, it had, but and this, I'll pull out the torch again. Oh, come on. It's always one of the features. Hit it up here. And get this light and turn this light off. Yep. As you can see, just the minute and hour hands. If you guys, again, if you guys made it this far, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Like the video, comment down below, and until the next one, or actually, better yet, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. I'm still, it's a work in progress, is this guy. I put a gold and, and links on here. Still tweaking it. Hopefully it uh, stays sturdy before I fully commit. Because I don't want this to fall off when I'm wearing it. So I had to modify it. And until the next one, you guys have a good one. Bye.